Hey, Top for Morning Tea. It's Tuesday morning. I'm Michael. Grandkids call me Rue. What in the world am I doing on Tuesday morning? Well, you know, I just thought uh, I had said hello in a few uh, days. And, uh, well, I did the auction live and then I ran off to Georgia to drop a piano, but I hadn't said hello. Thought I would. And uh, catch you up just a little bit. So uh, you can watch this, get an idea from who I am, where I am, and where I'm going. <laughs> I'm also going to paint. Uh, one little thing this morning that I need to pay for a friend. And so I thought you might see how I start these. I don't know if I've ever done one. Well, I have not done so, but this is kind of a different style. So. Just, uh, he's got a little event coming up and uh, at this cabin. Uh, he fishes there and he needs a fishing fly. So I'm gonna paint him a little fishing fly. I'm using Kakuno Pilot. Um, this is a fine point. Uh, a little plastic pen that costs about 11 or 12 bucks worth of fishing. So, just jumping in on a Tuesday morning to tell you that uh, join me tonight at, uh, join me tonight, Tuesday, yes, tonight at 8.57 p.m. right here. We'll come back and finish up a couple of little things. With you. Just wanted to say hello to you this morning. So, uh, and paint this. Little islet right there. Doesn't matter if it's uh, moved out. I'm painting in the, uh, the, what I've been selling my fishing flies on, I'm painting this in the, what's called the handbook journal. And this is made by Speedball Arts. It's about 120 pound paper. It's a mixed media paper. And uh, so I'm just popping on a Tuesday morning to remind you that Tuesday night, that's tonight at 8.57 p.m., I'm going to jump in on my Facebook page and do a little bit of time here. Carol has a cooking class going on, and I'm going to be gone again this Saturday, um, off in the mountains again, chefing it up. Yep, me this time. So I uh, wanted to get a little, uh, little painting, fishing fly done for a friend of mine. And I'm uh, just going to just go in there. There's the head of it right there. I'm going to come in a little closer on this so I think you can see it just a little better. That doesn't look like anything in the words of fish and fly, right? No. All right, so here we go. Might need a little, whoa, what happened to my, um, let's see here. Um, A piece of classical music there. I think I can paint these. Sometimes I just start these things out here like this and I'm really not pressing hard and I'm really not paying attention. I'm not trying to draw these lines. I'm just whipping them in with the pen. See that? And then I'll just stop every now and then and do these little dots in here like this. Yeah. And then I'm going to bring this back a little bit and I'm going to have some shorter ones here in the middle. And then we'll pick up some longer ones again here. So just some short little, these are probably light feathers or just fuzz or hair. Uh, maybe a deer hair that you found along the roadside. Don't even go there. I just said that. Okay, so so that's what I'm trying to do. Good morning. Yeah, surprise morning. I'm just hanging out here a little bit. Reminding you that 857 tonight, I'm going to do an hour right here on my show. Uh, just to catch up with some of you. Haven't seen you in a while. A little tie of the fishing line. Swirl that down there. But few more of these little things that just kind of go like this. Uh, let's see, why, why did that just stop here? Um, let me go just a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of some, like this is a bug body. I'm just giving it a little bit of uh, uh, the spacing between those, you know, so it's, it's sort of segmented. So that's kind of where I'm headed with that. And then I'm going to bring the hook around and we'll take it on out just a little. And we'll put a few of these hairs right here where there's a tie. And then I'm just going to take some of these. And remember, I'm not trying to draw them. Some people try to go, 
I gotta draw the hair out. You wind up making this end thicker than this end. Just go swish and just let it go. Just put your pen down and go swish. The difference if I draw it, if I draw it, my pen's gonna linger and I'm gonna wobble a little bit. If I go swish, my, my arm movement is just, that's it. That's the movement you're looking for right there. That's, uh, that's it. And you build them up. Some are lighter, some are heavier, and you just whip them in there like this. Uh, then I'm going to come out here. I'm going to do that again here. Just letting my brush whip out. If it's easier to turn your paper and do it this way, there it is right there, just, just put a couple in there. And that's enough. I'm not going to do any more on the tail. And then I'm going to turn my hook around like this. Let it come up. Put the little barb on it right there. And now here I am gingerly just sketching it in lightly with this pen. As lightly as you can catch it with the pen. I'm going to come right in here and I'm just using this pen to put a little bit of the ink right along the edge there. See that? See this right here? I just kind of came right in here and I brought a little pen right in there. Okay, now I'm going to screw it. All right. The reason I did that is because I'm going to grab a small brush here. Just a, a well, here, this, this is not small, but it's a six, I think. And I'm just going to touch a little water right there. Just, just there. Just on those areas. And I hit it big enough so that, let me show you what I did. There's a little more f finesse sometimes than it look like, I know. But here, here's an idea of what I'm doing. Good morning to you. Hey, I'm, I'm uh, doing a little bit of a few minutes time to pay to fly for a friend. I thought I'd paint it live. And just to remind you that 857 tonight... It's not a remind, it's the first time I'm telling you. 8.57 tonight, I'm going to be on live to about an hour. Uh, if I get back here, my grass cut, my hair cut, all the cuts. Yeah, you can measure here. I think I'm going to get about that much cut off today. So here we go. So look, look at this. Uh, this little segmented body, I'm just going to show you an example of what I'm doing. When I mean segmented, bugs bodies sort of have a growth pattern like ants do. You know, when you draw an ant, you just draw them like there's a bunch of BBs lined up there. So I'm doing the segmented body, but what I'll do is I'll, and this would be the head of the fly, and I'm gonna come right in here and I'm just gonna take a little area and just darken it with my pen like this, see that? And then if I touch that with my brush, just a, a and I don't have clean water this morning, I didn't even change my water, my water is just filthy, still has some ink in it, but that's fine. This is mostly a black and white. I'm gonna come in here and my brush stroke catches. Look at this. Oh, you can't see that one. You can see this one. No, I can't see that one. Can you see this one? Yes, okay. Look at this. If I do a line across here, my brush stroke catches under the line, but it also catches a little above the line. Watch, I'm pushing water in here like this, but then I'm just gonna let it touch just a little bit above the line. And that even makes it a little more natural. Here's what you don't want when you're doing, um, sometimes if you want loose watercolor, we're really guilty of drawing a line like this and then this color in this little space by itself and going like, be careful, don't break the lines, don't get out of the lines. It looks like the body of a covered wagon. No, what I'm saying is you just kind of make the segments like this and come in here and, and just put some mark in there and go like this and then just run out of the lines a little bit. See how that's a little more natural? Okay, so that's kind of what I'm trying to do with this fly body right here. Even in the tiny part, I'm just catching it a little more natural in there. Now I'm going to grab some, uh, I haven't even put more water in my brush. I'm just leaving it a little bit, uh, uh, what's the word here? Uh, I'm leaving it just a little more damp and uh, I'm just picking up some of that and pulling it out. Now, now what's happening now is the pen that I'm using on this mixed media paper will lay there a little bit before it dries. And so I'm starting to get a little bit of that moisture in there. Now here, here I'm going to come in here. Uh, it's fine if I go in a little above that. This looks like a little fuzz or, or spray or moisture. And, and don't try to do this as dark as this. Just let it kind of be on its own. I'll show you why in a second. All right come back in and maybe put a couple more here and then I'm just touching a couple dots into that water. I'm going to add a little color there and I want to add that with even a smaller brush. So I'm going to reach in here and get myself a, a rigger brush, R-I-G-G-E-R. -G -G -E it's a nylon. This is a number one, pretty small brush. Can you see this? Pretty small brush. Look at that. And it has a longer uh, hair push than this brush. Look at that. It's about another eighth of an inch, almost a quarter inch longer. And I'm gonna pick up and put a little color in here. And I think I'm just, for the sake of this fly and the video, I'm gonna use orange. So watch this, I'm coming in now and I'm just gonna do this brush the same way I was doing my pen with just these sweeping motion, all right? 
So here we go. I'm not going to practice. I'm just going to bring it in here and just drop a few of these little lines down, barely touching. And I'm lifting as I swing out on the outside. So I touch down and then lift up, touch down and lift up, touch down and lift up. What that's doing is giving me a little heavier point where I landed in here, a little darker, and then lightens them up on the outside and, and uh, possum tails them a little bit is the mountain word for that, okay? So, got my rigger, Bob says. Good enough, Bob. Bob's, Bob's, uh, hey, Bob, this is a good, uh, this is a good little uh, lesson for you this morning. Go back. Hey, I'm going to go about another 10 minutes here and finish up this fly. Reminding you that at 8.57 tonight, I'm going to be on again. And uh, you can paint this fly anywhere you are. I painted this one last night uh, sitting in a, um, a little uh, portable chair watching a field hockey game, okay, F with a foreign exchange student that's here staying with my family. And so uh, when she wasn't playing, I was painting. So I wanted you to see how I put this together. And I'm going to add a little bit of a, a red in here just because I want this to show up to the fish in the water kind of address itself. So I'm dropping a little bit of red and now I'm just dropping that red sporadically. I don't want it to look dotted, so I'm gonna fill it in just a little bit. And then I'm gonna come in here. I think I want a little more of that orange tail in the back. So I'm gonna come back, grab myself a little more of just Halloween orange. Uh, I'm gonna do a sweep across here just like this. And one more. And if you can see right here, I laid the brush over on its side just a little bit and skidded it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at this. This is, I hold a brush like this, I get a pretty solid line. If I hold a brush like this, I'll get a little bit of a skid mark. I'm gonna do this up here high so you can see it. Watch one more time. Watch this. Here's just a straight mark, see that? Now if I lay it on its side, look. If I just bend it over just a little bit, change my angle, I get a skid. See this? See that right there? That's a great example and then, I'll let this dry for about 30 seconds while I just talk about you or have a sip of tea or remind you again that um, I will be on it, Lord willing, 8.57 this evening. For about an hour from this desk, I'll be gone again this weekend. I'm in the uh, mountains of Western North Carolina cooking for some men on an event. I know I got the chef job. I'm excited. So thanks for being on. Uh, so I'll, I'll be on this evening again, but I had to hit a fishing fly down, but I'm showing you a little more detail in times like this. Look, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pen. This one's already dry, I'll start with it here. And I'll take my pen and I'll go into the ink and just touch it like this and let that bleed. I might've waited too long on this, so I'll show you what it looks like when I put it actually in here where this is still damp. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting this, just touching my pen and letting the ink run in the wet paint letting the ink run in the wet paint. And what does that look like? It looks like the cross feathers of a little, cross points of a little feather. You see that? Just like that. Okay, boom. And that's, that's how simple it is. Don't get all involved in thinking you got to get in here and tighten up your shoulders and take a brush the size of a gnat <coughs> and come in and paint and detail and hold it like this. I, if I had to paint fish and flies like that all the time, I think one, I'd be a nervous wreck. Two is, I think they would be too fine and finished to put in the river. <laughs> so I just paint mine a little more loose. I think this fly needs a little bit of a, a backing here, just a little, a bit of a green up on top of this. And I'm not trying to fill in the whole box. I didn't try to fill in the whole segment again. I didn't try to go in here and do this. I came in here and just went like that. See that? Let some holidays show through, okay? This thing's been hitting the edge of the docks and trees. You stuck it in a tree limb a few times. You bounced it off the, the uh, a rock before it got into the, the lake. You know, I don't know what fly fishing is. You pull that thing back and you let it float all the way back and you catch a barbed wire fence on the backside before you go forward. I, I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna do a little bit of loose thread in here. And I'm gonna pick up with just some broken threads in here. Might put a little wobbly one there. Just, I'm still really using this pen in a light manner as I do this, okay? And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna beef up some of this just a little bit. Now I'm pushing a little harder and I'm dropping a little more ink from my pen. Light again, 
part again, okay? If you could hear this, if I had a mic, you'd hear me go. Shoo, 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 shoo. So as, as I get into that body shape, however you want to shape the body, I'm pushing some out that are just whipped like this. Then I'm pushing some harder marks. And I'm just dropping some little bullet points in there, just like that. You don't think those have a point until you start putting that water in and putting it together. So some of you, and this is hard for you to pull down and do. That's why sometimes I leave my paper loose and I just turn the paper over. And this turns out to be a pretty good fly. I'm going to grab a little bit of, of I think, some, um, I think I'm going to grab a little bit of buff titanium and just drop a little bit right in there on top of this red. It'll peek it out a little bit, but it'll also show it just a little more used. I like that. Okay, so maybe drop a little feather in here. This lost some of its color. Come back here like that. That looks good to me right there. Okay, all right, so there's your little fish and fly. Uh, let me show you how big he is. Just uh, the camera's pulled in pretty tight. He's almost in focus, so I think I did pretty well there this morning. And uh, He's going to uh, frame at five by seven very nicely, even even a little smaller. He could probably, could he squeeze him in four by six? No, he cut his tail off. But but somewhere in there, put a mat on him and he would frame really well. And then let's just throw a little water in around him. And I'm going to do that with, I don't know if you see me use this brush very much. It's, uh, it's probably the only brush, it's a Dynasty brush. The company Dynasty sent me quite a few brushes just to see if I try them. And I gave most of them to my wife because she loved them. Um, but this is a quarter inch, um, and I used to be called a, a, a shading brush or a diagonal brush, but it's, uh, I, I don't even know where you can find it. I think he has, somebody sent me some dynasties. Uh, orange skid marks are the best, Michael Asher. You need to go feed your goats, buddy. So, uh, hey, I'm going to join me at 8.57 tonight, and I'm going to wrap up here in two minutes. And uh, I'll be back here. I will not be painting this next Saturday morning. I'm in the mountains of Western North Carolina uh, with uh, about a handful of guys and uh, trying to bring them a little dinner. Uh, but before then, I've got to cook for some guys down in South Carolina on a little. Uh, yeah, you didn't. Yeah, I never have talked about my going out to be a uh, uh, at the fire chef because <laughs> it doesn't happen a lot. But. Uh, Two in one week. I actually I cooked last week too. And I'm putting some video together of dropping the piano. So I'll have that together maybe to show you by tonight. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish this up and then get out of here. Let me pull back just a little so you can see a little bigger page here. As I bring, there's my measuring tape laying there. Let's focus. And then I'm going to bring a little water splatter in out of my head. There we go. All right, I'm going to put water out of my head. See that? All right, I'm going to throw some water down on the page like this. This is what this brush is good for. My, um, I'll tell you this, these will work just as well. Uh, any, any of my brushes will. I could use any uh, American Journey brush or Miller Pseudo Sables for this. I just picked this brush up here this morning. It was in my bag, fell out, so I'm using it. I'm going to use a little uh, uh, French Gray Ultramarine. Come in like this. And just tie some of those watermarks together like this. Might even come back in and splatter a little bit like this and then pick it up and just let it be natural again, okay? Sometimes don't even think about making these symmetrical, okay? that's it's. I don't know why we do that very often. And if you see what's happened here, I threw some water on this. It's beginning to run a little bit. So I'm just going to leave it and go in there and hit it with a paper towel and not worry about it. But sometimes we'll block things out like we try to do this. We'll put a little blue here, a little blue here, a little blue here, a little blue here. Get out of the matchy-matchy and get a little asymmetrical, okay? Just punch it out a little bit. Push push some water, water around here and there and grab a uh, brush handle. And just do a little splatter like this and, uh, and you're done for the day. There's your fly right there. Doesn't need much more than that. Okay, I would frame it with this line going off and I'd frame it like that and that fly will be out of here. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to post this fly today just as a painting. Uh, I've decided I'm going to give him, <laughs> after painting it, I think I'm going to give him this one that I painted here. I think this will go better with his rod. Yeah, he's got a yellow rod. So um, I'm going to post this one. I'll sign it a little later when it dries and post it this morning. All right, so there you go. Hey, Jack Wolfbarger, hello to you. Sherry Bullard, thanks for being on the show. Uh, 18 month of granddaughter just called you doodles. 
Boom. Lori Stanley handle Meyer Henderson. More power to you. What a, what a fun thing to have an 18 month old grandbaby. I was out with a five year old grandson last night and a 16 year old uh, foreign exchange student, Carol and I took them out for a little bite of dinner after she played field hockey. And she's here trying to figure out, wait, what is the game? And I don't speak the language that good. And, uh, She's from Germany. Uh, Julie, thanks for being on this morning. And uh, Ash, always good to hear from you, buddy. Deborah Spangler, Gene Anthalzer, Donna Keene, Karen Bender. Uh, morning from Tennessee, Tissy Chambers. Yeah, I hope you got a beautiful morning over there. I was there uh, a couple of weeks ago for a cross country meet, and uh, my son's son, grandson, watch him run. Uh, June Jones, Karen Binder. Let's see. Uh, yes, it's Tuesday. Okay, so write this down. Uh, Bob, welcome to the show. Linda Schleitning, always good to have you. Hey, write this down. I will be on the show, Lord willing, 8.57 this evening, and I'll probably do an hour. I might paint another one of these and just pick up any questions you might have. And also, might um, paint something else that you need to see. I may post this, I may not. Threw a little water on it before it dried. I forgot I was not working with my regular watercolor paper, and I was working with a mixed media hardback paper, which holds the liquid longer on the surface. It just doesn't soak it up like the cotton does. So but I kind of like it. It's kind of rough. Uh, in fact, it makes me want to do this before I leave you here. I'm going to take a little bit of gamboge, just a little sunlight yellow, and I'm just going to go in there and just pop it right in here where it's making the cast. And just let that bleed in and maybe a little green in this water here just like this boom 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 i like it uh hey, sometimes you turn them into a messy fly that you just kind of like and and uh, i'm kind of liking this okay so all right if both of them turn up i'll paint him another one tonight and we'll get it done he doesn't have to have his until um, thursday evening all right, blessings to you all. I'll uh, Hopefully I'll see you tonight, 8.57. Just write it down on your drawing board right now and say, Rue appears at 8.57 this evening. I got to go. Got a meeting to run to. Out of here like a herd of turtles. Blessings to you.